The topic of this section is click tracking implementation. Click tracking implementation is very simple. Suppose you now need to track clicks on this place. What needs to be done? It's actually very simple. Inside Adobe Launch, click Rules. Then create a new rules. Named event click BCS. Then click Events. Event type select click. There will be some settings on the right. Here we use CSS selector to locate. Visit the website and move the mouse to the location to be tracked. Then right click and select inspect. The cursor will stay on the code at the selected position. Move the mouse to this line of code. Then right click. Choose copy. Choose copy selector. Return to Adobe Launch. Paste the copied content into it. In this way, click positioning is realized. Let's take a look at what the other options mean. And having certain property values. You can specify property values that must be true for the element before the event is triggered. If the element is a link, delay navigation. You can also specify whether to delay navigation until the rule runs if the element is a link. When you click the checkbox, a field opens where you can enter the desired delay in milliseconds. This specifies how long launch waits for tags to fire on click links before moving to the next page. The default value is 100 milliseconds. If you click on a link, you can set it here. We won't do it here. Next look at advanced options. These settings are to limit the trigger level relationship of the code. Generally, the first two are selected. The triggering of this event will not affect the triggering of other events. Basically no other settings are required. Then save. Then click actions. Extension select Adobe Analytics. Action type select set variables. Then find the event settings on the right. For events to take effect. We also need to set up an events in Adobe Analytics. Open Adobe Analytics. Click Admin. Then click Report Suites. Go to the Report Suites Manager page. Click Edit Settings. Click Conversion. And click Success Events. Enter the settings interface of events. Click add to create a new event. Name. Custom. Named click BCS here type is the type of event. There are counter. Currency and numeric. Generally. Counter is selected. Here. Counter is selected. Polarity. The higher the better. The more users click. The better. Choose up is good. Visibility. Metric visibility. To be able to see this data in Adobe Analytics, you need to select visibility everywhere. Description. Describes the purpose of this event. Unique event recording. Check whether to always record the event. Participation. Enable or disable participation metrics. The suggestion is enable, which can be associated with other data. Then save. Here is a new event. Return to Adobe Launch. Select the event you just created. If you do not see the newly created event, you can save it and open it again. Then select the newly created event. Event value is set to BCS. Then save. Create another actions. Extension select Adobe Analytics. Select Send Beacon for Event Type.
on the right. Select Send Data to Adobe Analytics and do not treat it as a page view. Because it is an event tracking, it is not sent as a page view. Then save. Event tracking is set up. Now release it to the test environment to test. Since I am deploying the code to the production environment here, I publish it to the online environment. It is not recommended that you do like me. released. Now open the website and open the Adobe Experience Cloud Debugger. Find the location of Adobe Analytics. Then click the location of the tracking function. Then open Adobe Experience Cloud Debugger. Find the location of Adobe Analytics. You can see that there is an event tracking here. Click BCS is here. Indicates that the event tracking is successful. Then you can publish this setting online. See, event tracking is easy. That's it for this section.